and why is it not okay? Why it is, and then why yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go with why it is first. Okay. Jason, now, I think now is the best time to buy real estate. You're looking at some of the lowest markets you've seen in 10, 15 years. If you look at the trends, where do you want to live? In the Bay Area. Bay Area, okay. So, for instance, if you're looking at Daly City, you're looking at houses that are 40% discounted from what they were at when they were three, four years ago. And if you buy a mortgage now, you're also going to be seeing interest rates that are lower than they've ever been before, too. Normally, a mortgage would be going for three or $4,000, for a house during his few, first few years, but now you can get that for two or $3,000 for the exact same house. That's great reasons why you should buy right now. And do you plan on buying and having a family soon? Uh, maybe in the next couple of years. Next couple of years, okay. Five to 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a great reason to also buy because if you look at the trends from every 10 years, housing values usually double within that time. So if you buy Switch. Now, <laughs> it'd be a horrible idea. <laughs> Because renting is so much better of an option. If you rent, you're going to be normally paying 8% lower than what you do pay when you buy a house. You will also won't have to worry about mowing your lawn. You won't have to worry about the maintenance of the house because if anything breaks, you can have the maintenance guy repair it for you and you're not liable for structural damage. If you have renter's insurance, then you can have any type of personal liability removed from you if anything bad does happen. Anytime your car gets broken into, you don't have to pay for that. Anytime anything happens, you as a renter, you get babied and spoon-fed by the property manager. Those are the great reasons why you should rent rather than buy. Keep going. Renting is a great idea. That's why property management is such a good industry right now, and uh, it's great. <laughs> Five more seconds. <laughs> I love the industry so much that I was... All right, switch. It's a horrible reason to rent because if you look at the numbers, you're actually going to be paying more even if the bottom line, the bottom line is actually less because when you put in the interest that you pay during the year, you put that in your taxes, you actually have, no one knows about this, there's a present value the tax shield. Like if you guys, I'm not sure if you've taken Finance 351, but they talk about the present value of a tax shield. When you pay interest on something, you could actually deduct that from your taxes. So you get that money back later on in the year. So while you look at it, you may be paying 8% less when you pay a $2,000 mortgage compared to $1,800 in rent. 15, like $500 to $1,000 of that every month that you put in, you're going to be getting back later on at the end of the year. So that's a great reason why you should buy because it might look like you're paying more every paycheck, but at the end of the year, you're going to be making that money back. And if you were fortunate enough about a year or two ago to get the tax credit, you make another few thousand right there just by buying a house, condos included. Buying is also Switch. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a horrible reason because that <laughs> because the tax evasion or not evasion, I'm in trouble. The the tax You're only protected by the tax shield during the first few years. There's an inverse relationship between the interest paid on the loan to the end of the life cycle of the loan. At the beginning, you're going to be paying all interest, so the majority of your money is going to be going towards that tax shield. By the end of your mortgage, around your 20 to 30 on a 30 year mortgage, you're going to be paying all equity, so you won't be able to get that interest uh, tax shield anymore. So that's why it's it's good. Why am I talking about good or bad? Bad. So it, it's it's good at the beginning. Yeah, you might have some benefits and everything, but near the end of it, you're going to be paying for a mortgage 30 years from now, and if you're buying a house at the age of 35 or 40, then by the time you retire, you're still gonna have a mortgage that you're gonna have to pay for, and I can't afford a mortgage if I'm not working at the age of 75 or 80. So what are you gonna do? That's the question. Okay, nice work.